bonus features and even more unbelievable offers. Simply scan, enter and win with the Lenovo Challenge. Lenovo, for those who do. Very warm welcome back to the Moncock Stadium. You're watching Fox Sports and our live coverage of the AFC Cup, bringing you all the best action that we possibly can. Champions League action next week. The week after, it will be around five of the AFC Cup. Make sure you check your listings for details. For your favourite teams, you can catch them in action. As mentioned, we're at the Moncock Stadium, which is in Hong Kong. South China are taking on Pahang. 1-0 at the moment, a mistake in goal from Cairo Azan, didn't take it at the first attempt, spilt it from Philip Chan, who smashed it home in the 10th minute, that is what separates these two sides at the moment. So we're almost all set to go. It will be South China that will get us underway in the red and white strip, kicking from right to left. I say get us excited about this second half. I'm talking about the man sitting alongside me, the Johor Donald Taksim coach, Boyan Hodak, whose side was in action last night and claimed a well-deserved victory over Kitchi by two goals to nil. So he knows about Hong Kong, was there a couple of weeks ago where they were defeated 2-0. But Boyan, second half here has to be a little bit better than the first 45 that we've seen really, doesn't it? I think Pahang need to, to play with more risk. They need three points in this game because if they lose the game, they will need to win next two, which will be quite difficult. For South China, if they win this game, they will be top of the group and, and they will go to the second round as a top team. As a Dan. It's dispossessed early on. Just to update you on the other game that's taking place in Group G. Global from the Philippines are beating Yadanaban by two goals to one which would put Global on four points, the same as Pahang. If it stays this way, we save China going on to 12. Gopi fires one in there, and you just wondered if that was going to take a little bounce or bobble. Mora got his body right behind that one. Which is quite poor, bumpy, which created lots of problems for his player during the game, but any of the shoots on goal can be trouble for goalkeeper if the ball bounces just in front of him. Another player bought in in January. Mora on loan from Deportivo Quinza. Saifo Nizam. The fans doing their hardest to get behind the local team. Beat to the drum. Lamoua, Lamoua. Or South China as it's known in Cantonese. Lamoua. Chan with a flick. The header from Michael Cheng to no avail. Zidane. Good battling from Azam. So far, China, South China managed to block. It's on um, Gopinata, two best players from, from Pahang, and so far they stop completely any Pahang threat. Oh, 
the ball bouncing and bobbling around Mora having to claim that one the whistle's gone for a free kick Alasic couldn't quite make the contact that he wanted You'll know, Boyan, you've been there in the past. You've played on this ground on many, many occasions. When it does get hard, the Moncock Stadium can uh, can prove tricky to play on, shall we say. Tricky for defenders. in the starting lineup today only because of the illness of McBreen and the injury to Awal hasn't done himself an injustice at all Guppy can he conjure up a bit of magic Seinfeld with the ball in it's deep Zidane just couldn't get there Zidane got caught in the face there as well by Malasic. Sportingly helps up Azadan. Dangerous zone. Stewart, Rayman forwards. Matthias Conti, Dixon in there already. Any curl towards the goal will be problem for goalkeeper. and taking up that near post area it's fired in there bouncing and bobbling around Mora has to fist it away good defending by Malisic put his foot in front of Dixon and cleared the ball has allowed Michael Cheng to come forwards. Austin have got to get in there as well. He's low cut Why? So it's a mistake from Pahang that opens the door and quite literally sees South China book their spot in the next stage of the AFC 2015 competition. Ho Kong Wai makes it 2-0. Azam lost the ball, he was not strong enough with this tackle. Good final pass, you see that Dixon was running all the way back. But everybody were too far. Chan Suu Kyi again, again give excellent final pass and good execution through the legs. Well, the man that was signed from Yokohama, Hong Kong in 2013, after starting his career at Shamshu Po, made absolutely no mistake. The 22-year-old, as you could see from his celebration, extremely happy with that. Well, when you play at this level, and you called it in the first half, Boyan, South China are just sitting back, they're controlling, they're waiting for Pahang to make a mistake. And it was a mistake from the young man, Azam, slipping when he had time on the ball. That has cost another goal. 
basically in this situation Bahu is the team that need to attack one more mistake defensively there's Chan again Philip Chan takes it up nicely low come why well he couldn't do it again not within the space of 60 seconds Rasma Roslan poor turning it's just that snap isn't there to South China in the challenges in that closing down which is why they're winning the ball in important positions forcing the errors and the other thing is quite good opening every time when they win the ball every time when South China win the ball transformation to attack is really quick more challenge from Azam Azam physically is not the strongest guy this is what he needs to improve in the future but young boy who is new in this team have good ball control technically is quite good tactically is quite good calm with the ball seal is in behind it's still Seal. wow that's a throwback to what his old man used to do tony Seely for the likes of qpr and crystal palace a wonderful bit of improvisation and skill from jack Seely. the little give and go he didn't check his run and he slammed it into the roof of the net. It's now game, set, and match, South China. And great celebration. Great one, too. Sanfonisa was late. And then top corner, goalkeeper couldn't do much. Two goals in three minutes. Chan Suki it was that just cushioned that ball back inside and the change well being forced really on Zaini as it's going to be Fauzi that comes on and it's going to be Azam that comes off Azidan will move to central midfield and Fauzi will go on the right normally he can play right midfield he's extremely fast Azam is a young guy, normally young players, when they start to make mistakes, then they continue more and more mistakes, so it was a good move from Zaina to take him out. at the moment Michael Chang with a lovely ball threaded through and again Sealy on the burst two options in the box and at the far post sliding in and missing an open goal is Lo Kong Wai him and Philip Chan getting in each other's way <laughs> two of them are really eager to score a goal poor communication between them talked about youngsters Boyan they're both 22 years old both wanting to get on the score sheet again in today's game excellent Either. excellent move by Chansuki he already had two assists closing again the flag stayed down Lokong Wai hits the post well this could turn into a rout unless Pahang sort themselves out at the moment Pahang defense doesn't exist. Look very slow, very disorganized. They're lucky that it's only three. Well, we said that Bifana works and it was simmering just underneath. At the end of that first half, it has certainly come to life in this second half. Dixon. Tried to get in behind again, solid defending. Seely it was with the sliding challenge there. Michael Cheng with a lovely ball forwards. Chan Suki. He wants to get his name on the score sheet. So goes himself. Kyle Hassan. Better positioned on that occasion.
penalty. Great one. Bonk. I've seen a little bit too much to do on that occasion. Some matches in uh, recent time, maybe with that's the reason. Game on the fourth, there's three games. Pended on the edge of experienced player, captain. taking a 3-1 lead against Yedanarban. So it's going to be an interesting end to this group for Pahang, Yedanarban and Global all in with a fight. Maybe a little bit too far away from Pahang unless they can get something here from this set play. Conti straight into the wall. Dixon, Azadan, Conti. Well, we said it may be game on, and they're not. Dixon, McCann. was quiet for 60 minutes, but he's always dangerous. Can they? That is... Fit, not tired, fresh, mental. South China defense so far was Be interesting with Zion I'll go and make a few more subs. Has options on the bench, of course. 
Azamudin and Shafiki probably two attacking players. Fauzi. Azadan. Hafiz. Dixon. Oh, confidence high with Dixon at the moment. Looks as though he could be struggling a little bit though, Boyan. His confidence is always high. You'll know if he's played for you before. Well, Michael Cheng has put a good shift in today, it has to be said. That's coming off, and it is going to be Breen. Daniel Breen. McBreen will come on. Like for like. It's the 37-year-old that has recovered enough from the flu to get a substitute's berth. Landing there more than anything. Long Chun Pong just been helped to his feet. Young player of the year, 2006 2007. Hasn't done bad at all. Fong pulls it back. Chansuki tries the spectacular. Again, one mistake defensively. That could be costly. Dixon. Just hit the feet of Gopi. Mora will get there first. that one Conte Gopi Abreem with the layoff Board to ground. His pace can create problem on this side. Sachan is trying to hold the ball, but they can't lose the ball in central midfield so easy because it's too dangerous for counter attacks. Azamudin, we mentioned earlier, attacking player. They are trying to to eject new blood, fresh blood. and they don't want to risk him anymore must be that he's injured otherwise they will never take him out in this moment
Lipken. Good position, good situation for Prahang. Nice to fight in, flicked away in the end. by Pahang at the moment. Not this time, they caught him. Clement, forward, Stewart forward. Straight into the hands of Mora. things to defend for this is easy to read and predict here in midfield it's a little bit too slow bang is a little bit too slow in midfield Conte will return from half -ease. Execution. situation where South China doesn't want to risk anymore. Bahang want to attack but at the same time they don't want to concede any more goals. They need to go for it though. Yes they're gonna try and chance it on the last two match days. It's a strong challenge from Malasic. the other way this time Chansuki poor control must be tired how many runs he made today He's very quiet today. Hasn't been his usual self down that flank. You have to say that's credit to Chi Rung Kui. Brought into line up by Mario Gomez. Here's Seeley again. He has options. Look on why she just couldn't get there. South China created lots of opportunities on this left. Oh, left defensive side of Pahang. 
and Saiful Nizam it's a few times caught out of position. As a Dan. in central midfield role which is more familiar for he, familiar for him as man with a great ball into the far post that should have been him from Conte to be honest it was also good defending he was defender was pushing him there was a contact so he couldn't do clear header you know, it was that has took it in from that fullback position just enough contact, not allowing that free header for Matthias Conte. With the goal here would set things up nicely. You would like one more goal. Suddenly game will explode. I think the neutrals out there would buy in. Krems. To the way that he smashed that ball into the roof of the net it's understandable he ran a lot he worked really hard today big guy hoy get him ready to come on from Chansuki. He's getting tired, Lo Kong Wai. Damien Stewart experience. There was body contact just nice to disturb him to receive the ball. Man. Here's McBrain. No free kick. Damien Stewart is quite strong. He's a big lad. Copy. Stewart stayed forwards. Here's McBrain. China is now trying to play ball possession, hold the ball as much as they can. Give some break for defenders. Play it into the corners. Lo Kong Wai. Second attempt. Wasn't going to catch out Cairo on that occasion. Fauzi. Lovely ball in, well dealt with though by Malasic. Conti had just gone into an offside position. And finally, we can have that change. It is going to be Big Eye Hoyt that will come on. Jack Seeley will go off. 
Lee Guy Hoy signed this year from Kitchi. Never played in the first team for Kitchi. He's only 20 years old. Former under 18 and current under 20 international. Usually a left back. Just wonder if he may just slot in there on that right hand side. Or is he? It yeah, looks as though he's going to the near side. Maybe it will be Okon Wai that goes over to the far side. Just play in front of the back line. the free kick Zamudin and Jack a little bit more pace in Pahang attack. It's a lovely little ball in behind. Shooter cross. What do you think, Boyan? You're the expert. I don't know if both cases was quite poor. <laughs> Lokong Wai tiring, as we said. There's another player who's tiring who hasn't done it today. Gopi. He's been replaced by Karamal Zaman. Shafiki. Shafiki. Shafiki on, Gopi off. That's got to be resting players for the weekend now, surely, just giving someone an extra five, ten minute break. One more time attack on the right for South China and one more time chance but final touch was not there. Matthias Conti received the knock, but looks like he's okay. Normally, Zainal is not the guy who explodes <laughs> easily. Very mellow, tempered man, we have to say. That's an awful ball back across from Stewart. And it's gifted an 
opportunity here for South China to come forwards again. Chan Su Ki. Green tees it up nicely. The outside of the foot from Li Gai Hoi just wide. Good try. It was near. Oh, word, good build up play. You can see what he was trying to do, and he wasn't a million miles away. Challenge from Zesh Suleiman. Coming right to the end of this one. So China never really looked in too much trouble. Too tight and precise. Stewards. Conti hasn't really had a look in at all tonight. Chan Wai Ho again. And Mali Shijin, in few occasions, completely stop him. to go there two red cards for Yad Narbon but it's 4-1 global as we see a change <laughs> fired in but easily dealt with Wee Chung who's come on for Lo Kong Wai another youngster being given an opportunity to play for these two teams so China at home to global the hang there at home to Jan Arben. that could be the one that decides it for them particularly if South China get the job done against global it comes down to the head-to-head -head. Pang only managed to draw with global nil-nil at home so they'd have to get some kind of results away from home. Now, that would mean a scoring draw. Otherwise, if it was to finish 0-0, then we get into the complications of goal difference, goal scored, etc., etc. That's why Boyan Hodak and his JDT side, it was so important for them to nullify that result from a few weeks ago from this very stadium, where they were defeated 2-0 by Kitchi. 
was interesting. In the last two days, there was two teams from Hong Kong versus two teams from Malaysia. Malasic not happy there, just going and having a little quiet word and gets a little fist in the face there from Razman. Stewart just piles in there to try and sort out the mess. Zamudin is sometimes a little bit, a little bit <laughs> using dirty tricks, but Malishich also is the same, so that's the reason why. Well, the 90 minutes are up, so it will be time added on. The last minute sometimes are frustrations, so. He shouldn't have any frustrations at all with three minutes of injury time to be added on. Yellow card for Damien Stewart for Silly getting himself involved, running all the way across to go and have a few words. So that's the first yellow card of the game. A very quiet game. Oh, fair. Comfortable. It's what you'd expect really from someone who's played in a World Cup in 2006. Before Ecuador finally lost to England. He was the goalkeeper all the way through the tournament for them. Green tried to play it in behind again off the ball. Saifon Nizam. Didn't really see foul for any intention. I think the attacking player was more st stamp on his foot. A little shake of the head there. And a second yellow card. Oh, it's like buses. You wait around all day for one, then a couple come along all at the same time. Oh, we haven't had one. In the, in the earlier 90 minutes. McBreen. I think that now both teams just waiting the end of the game. Sometimes you just feel it may be better for the referee to blow the whistle. Particularly when the game is literally dead and buried. Or is it? Conte. There is the final whistle. It's a hard four, but well deserved victory, it has to be said, for South China, who qualify for the knockout phase of this competition. A lot of hard work ahead and toil for Pahang as they will need to take on Yedanarban and Global to see if they can go through. It started with Philip Chan in the 10th.